Hey everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I know there are so many YouTube channels that you could be watching right now, and I'm honored that you chose to click on this video. Now today we're gonna be reviewing three different products that get reviewed by influencers a lot. A lot, a lot. And not only was I not paid for my opinion, but I did not receive these products for free. So what I'm gonna bring you are completely unbiased reviews of Simply Cleaning Products, Bowl and Branch Sheets, and Thrive Market. And I'm really glad that you're here. So if you're wondering why did I choose those three brands in particular, I actually reached out to you guys on Instagram and also on Twitter, by the way, feel free to go follow me on both things. I'm literally Jen LaForge on everything. And you all said these were the products that you wanted to see me review. Now this is a feature that I hope to do regularly. I would say monthly, but I don't do so good when I paint myself into a corner like that. So let's just go with regularly, where I am purchasing items with my own money and bringing you a completely unbiased review. I have a bit of a cringe moment when I hear an influencer say, I was gifted this item or I'm doing this in partnership with, and this is in no way, shape or form to put anybody down that works with brands. I know a lot of influencers that do. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's not how I wanted to roll with my channel. And I've worked really hard to make sure that you guys always know that the reviews I'm bringing you truly are completely unbiased. So nobody's paying me for these reviews. I bought all this stuff with my own money and let's dive right in. So the product we're going to start with is the one that surprised me the most. Uh, I ordered the Safely, I can't remember the name of the starter kit. Maybe it's called Neat Freak or something like that. It was $52. Now, if you know anything about this company, it is Christy Teigen and um, the Jenner mother, whose name I can never remember. <laughs> Good, good, Jen. Good influencer. I'll put her name right here. Some of you are screaming her name. You would have thought I could remember that. Sometimes I can't remember things, especially celebrity names. I got a lot going through my head. Celebrity names don't always stick. But this company, when they first launched, was on everybody's channel. Everyone was talking about it. I happen to adore Christy Teigen, so I had no problem giving them my money. I was, however, pretty dubious. I use predominantly the Grove products, and I I'm really big on things being organic and not using chemicals in my home. I read a little bit about the company. It said that they were working with all organic, sustainable products, uh, and that it had a very high-end perfume scent. Like, that's what they were going for. So let's start with the packaging. Yes, the packaging is beautiful. Actually, this would be a fantastic gift for somebody if they were just moving into an apartment or a house, uh, but obviously not if you didn't think the products were good. So it's probably most important that we discuss, do they actually work? Now, the, the ones that I've been using the most, just because that's what I use in my life, is this one, which is the Universal Cleaner, and the scent is called Rise. And then also I've used the glass cleaner, the hand lotion, and the um, pump soap. I've been using those pretty much daily for about three weeks now. And here's what I have to say. Okay, so number one, do they actually work? I'm happy to report they actually do. Um, I've used the universal cleaner in my kitchen. It cleans my granite actually surprisingly well. I've used some other high-end sprays before and they may smell great, but they leave a little bit of a greasy residue on my granite. This did not leave any residue and it left my granite sparkling clean. So I was incredibly impressed with how well it worked. Same on my glass. Uh, I cleaned uh, several of my windows. We have dogs, they slobber on windows. I was shocked at how much dirt it got off the glass. So that's kind of like job one if it's a cleaning product, right? It has to actually work, and it absolutely did. Number two, what do I think about the fragrance? So here's where buyer beware, and you need to know what you're getting into. They, they touted it as like they wanted it to smell like a high-end candle or a really fragranced candle. I think it smells like a really high-end department store perfume counter. It is very, very perfumey. 
Now, I don't have any sensitivity to smell, but if you don't like a lot of scent in your cleaning products, do not buy this. Contrast that with the Grove products that I use, which are the little concentrates that go in the glass bottles. I feel like those have a fragrance, but it's really, really light and it's really faint and it certainly is not overpowering. When I spray down all of my counters with this or when I use the hand lotion or when I use the soap, I smell it for a long time. Now, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I guess it depends. This is not an organic smell. Okay, so do I love it? I mean, it's kind of grown on me and I will admit I have been spraying my counters down every night because I do love that scent. Would I use it every single day of my life? Probably not. I, I doubt I will be repurchasing these uh, just because I love my Grove products so much, but I can tell you that they work and they do smell really, really good, but just be aware that you're getting a very strong scent. Now, as to was what I purchased worth $52. Again, it depends. Um, if you have a loved one who loves strong scents, this could be a great gift. And I did love that it really came with so many products. I love that the bottles are made from recycled materials and are recyclable. That part I loved. Um, and they are nice big bottles. So worth $52, yeah, maybe. I pay way less than that for my little Grove concentrates. I have my reusable glass bottles. And no matter how recyclable something is, I always prefer to have it in a glass bottle that I can use over and over again, potentially for decades. And no one will ever have to use any resources to recycle it, right? Because just because something can be recycled, it still takes resources to do the recycling. So I'm a little dubious there. So if I were going to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I will give it a thumbs up for doing everything that it says it does, but I'm gonna give it like a medium thumbs down sort of because it is so strongly scented. The next item we're gonna discuss um, is Thrive Market. Now, Thrive Market, I had never ordered from them before, and a whole bunch of you were like, will you please look up Thrive Market for me and tell me what the deal is? So I did order from them. I went on and ordered a bunch of snacks. Evidently, I was really hungry the day that I placed my order because everything was like chips. <laughs> And, and like one thing of oil. Um, I did see some brands that I've seen in stores. I saw a few brands that I've seen in Sprouts. I saw a few brands that I've seen in Costco, but I did get introduced to some new brands. So let's go to my unboxing of my first Thrive Market box, and then we'll talk about what I think. Hello. Okay, I just got my first box from Thrive Market. And I think I paid $55 for everything that is in here. The shipping was super fast. I got mostly um, snack food, although I also got um, a free gift because it was my very first purchase. And I think that is in here. It should be olive oil, which looks like it's packaged really, really well, which I was kind of curious about since it is oil. I don't remember what's down in there. Um, I got a ton of different snack things. Oh, this is a big bag. Okay, I got these gluten-free tortilla chips. I got avocado oil, potato chips, salt and vinegar, loads of snacks, because I like me some snacks. Okay, so excuse that the washer's going in the background, but this is everything that I got. This was my free gift, which is this avocado oil. I have never cooked with that before, so I'm not sure how to do that. And I actually don't remember ordering this, so I think this might have been a free gift as well. This ranch dressing and marinade, avocado oil ranch. That looks really yummy, so I'm excited to try that. Um, and I got this uh, organic salsa in medium. I will say that the liquids were packed extremely well, so I had been a little worried about that, but I needn't have been. And then the rest of everything is just snacks. I think I was hungry when I placed this order. So I've got lots of different potato chip brands to try. Um, this really big thing of corn tortilla chips. And for the most part, just from feeling the bags, except for this one bag, um, which got pretty smushed, the rest of them seem to be all in one piece. 
I got these Tate's Bake Shop cookies, which we've had before and I happen to love. Um, I got these grain-free brownie thins. Now, I don't have high hopes for these, so I will let you know if these taste good. Um, these are those fake, not fake, but like healthier Pringles, I should say, from the Good Crisp Company. And Spud Love More Potatoes. And then this is my plant-based protein powder, which I've been meaning to pick up some of this for a while. So I figure I might as well um, try it from them. And that's just a vegan protein powder that I will use in smoothies. So uh, we will try this over the next couple of weeks as we go through this food. I'll let you know what the hits and misses were if I feel like it was a good value. Um, mostly for this order, it's interesting to just try brands that I've never tried before. So I'm looking forward to that. Here's my review on Thrive Market. Number one, I do think it's a good company. I think that they had great customer service. I get a really good feeling from the packaging to the way that they just seem to interact with their customers. It seems like a really solid business. Having said that, do I think that I actually saved money? No, and here's why. I got a bunch of great snacks, but they weren't necessarily things that I would have bought if I didn't order them from Thrive Market. So no matter how good a deal something is, if it's not something you would have bought otherwise, then you're not actually saving any money. The other thing is I have a Sprouts right up the street from me and I do know which brands are organic at Target and at um, Costco. So it's very easy for me to pick up a lot of these same brands at the various places that I regularly shop. And if I can get them on sale, I usually can get just as good a deal, if not better than what they gave me with Thrive Market. Having said that, there is one category of people that I think absolutely should order from Thrive Market, and that is if you have anyone in your home with an allergy and you don't have a Sprouts or a store like that that is close by your home. They excel in this category, in my opinion. You can go in there and you can put in all of your allergies, all of your food intolerances, and they will only show you products that you can actually buy. I think, um, for instance, my friend Jen, who has kids with a nut allergy, it would save her a lot of time and a lot of heartache if she wasn't having to scour the labels of every single product that comes in their house. I think they take this part of things very, very seriously. So if you are a person or a parent of a person with a um, allergy or an intolerance, this could be a fabulous way for you to order things. Um, I also have a person in my family that has uh, can't use any skincare products that contain alcohol, and they gave me an option to do that. So I may be using them in the future for the um, the very you know just the skincare products alone because it can be a huge pain to try to find alcohol free um, you know particularly like toner and face wash and things like that. So if you're anybody that has sensitivity or allergies, I would definitely give them a try. And because I will be purchasing um, their skincare products probably in the future, I will put my own personal referral code. This is not an affiliate link, right? That's that's very different. Um, I'm not associated with Thrive Market at all. This is just my, my normal gen uh, code that they give everybody that orders from them. If you want to pass it along to friends or family, if it's like most of them, you'll probably get a free gift or money off and I'll get some money towards my next order. I don't see myself ordering from them, like certainly not every month, but I could see it as an option maybe every couple of months. And you do have the option to set it to every other month, which is always important to me if you don't wanna receive it monthly. So Thrive Market is getting a, a kind of thumbs up and an it depends, which is sort of what I said with the um, Safely products too, but <laughs> you know, so so that do with that what you will. Okay. Our third product was bowl and branch sheets. Now, originally, I was very anti bowl and branch sheets. It was like $220 for a set of sheets is ridiculous. I am a Costco girl when it comes to my sheets and I'm very, very picky about my sheets. I've been ordering, or not ordering, but I've been buying them from Costco for years. The organic cotton Kirkland brand made in India. I think they're like 500 thread count. And I can pick those up usually for about $75. So $220 was a big jump. Now I did have a 
a discount code and promise me if you decide you want to try bowl and branch sheets out do not purchase them without a discount code but without further ado let's go to my unboxing of my bowl and branch sheets because the presentation here was was really spectacular <music> As you saw, that's a big ta-da when they come to your house. I, I was pretty excited. I actually have the, um, they come in like a dust cover, which is kind of a cool thing because it is nice. A lot of people store their sheets inside the King pillowcase, but they give this to you so you could actually store your sheets in the linen closet in this little dust cover, which is nice. And the box that it came in could easily be reused for storage or for something else. It really is a lovely box. So presentation was like A plus. Like if you wanted to do this as like a wedding gift for somebody, oh my gosh, they, they would be very impressed. But did I feel that they were worth all of that extra money? So I did my research and the thing about this company that had me a little swoony was the fact that not only is the cotton that they use organic cotton and it is all sustainably sourced and all organic, but they only source their cotton from ethical labor factories. One of the things I'm really trying to do in life is not only buy things that are, are organic from companies that have sustainable practices, but also companies that are ethically sourcing their materials. And Bowl and Branch makes a big deal uh, that the factory where they get their textiles from has uh, workers that are paid a good wage. Uh, it, as it turns out, as I was doing some more research, the textile industry is one of the worst about being ethical in the treatment of workers. And it can be really tricky to even find out if you know they're using ethically sourced factories and, and they're using good labor practices and all of that. And that's just a, a really high value to me. And I can't always find out. I love that with Bowl and Branch, they were completely transparent about that and actually bragged about it. And I really am willing to pay more for a product if they are treating their labor appropriately, okay? So um, that going into it, yes, they're way more expensive, but I'm willing to pay more when I know that that is the case. And then I put them on my bed. Now, here's the thing. The thread count might be a little odd to you guys because if you're used to five or 600 thread count sheets, which is typically what I use, the thread count here is only 300. And you might be like, oh, you know, are they not gonna be soft? Are they gonna be scratchy? Let me tell you, I love these sheets. I love them. I feel like they're incredibly breathable. I feel like, you know, I'm getting to that age where sometimes I get, um, you know, sweats in the middle of the night and the whole thing. I don't like to call them hot flashes. I, let's call them just, you know, what they are. I have a friend who calls it my own personal summer, but <laughs> I don't like to talk about that. They are very, very breathable. Um, I also loved that they have a very generous overhang. If you've seen my husband, he is six foot four and he tends to be a covers hog, but a lot of the sheets that we buy, even the very high end sheets, they don't fall down enough that I can really tuck them in. And I'm always, you know, pulling because I'm getting my sheets taken away from me. Uh, these have such a generous overhang and I adore that about them. Um, I only wash them once. And from what I hear, the more you wash them, the softer they get. I, it might be my imagination, but I actually do think I am sleeping better on these sheets. Like, I love them. I love them. I am a convert and I love them. I think the promo code I used was business. It was from Oprah's Super Soul Sunday podcast. So try that code. And I, I wanna say it gave me like 30% off. It was a really, really good coupon code. Again, they didn't pay me to say this. I paid my own money for these sheets, but they exceeded my expectations. Now, again, if my Costco sheets are 80 and these are 220, are they worth that much of a premium? I'm not 100% sure, but either way, I really, really like them. And I like that I'm giving to a company that is paying their workers well and that their workers are in a good environment. So I'm gonna go with a thumbs up on the Bowl and Branch sheets. So which of the three would I never buy again? I'm gonna go with Safely. Again, it's not that they were terrible. They did what they said they were gonna do. If you're someone that really likes perfumey smells and your cleaning products, you might love them. 
I will not be ordering from them again. Thrive Market, I probably will be ordering from them again. So again, I'll put that referral code down in the description box. And Bowl and Branch Sheets, I, when I need sheets again, I will absolutely be ordering from them. Now, my hope is, because I already have another really good set of King Sheets that I don't need to order sheets for a while, but I would say if you're looking for a really generous wedding gift, because of the presentation and because it's so beautiful, these could be fabulous. But like I said, search around for a good referral code. Do not pay full price for these sheets. <laughs> Because you, I mean, everybody in the world, everybody and their brother, everyone and their aunt nanny has a referral code for bowl and branch sheets. So try them out. All right, you guys, what should I review next? I, I can't afford to do these too often. And if you could not choose items that are super expensive, just because again, I do pay for these things with my own money. But if you will put down in the comments what you would like me to do next for my completely unbiased, unsponsored, unaffiliate reviews, uh, I would love to consider those. And uh, yeah, you can do that here. You can do that over on Instagram, but I can't wait to see what you guys want me to review next. This was fun. I hope whatever you're doing today, you're finding joy. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I would love to have you here. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.